Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Thumpas franchise rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number 3. Last episode for our randomly built franchise, uh, we started off the game with some simming, winning the first two games in the simulation against the Beasts and the Toucans, before dropping the next two against the Bards and the Dive Bombers. We then jumped into the action here against the very rarely seen opponent here in the series, the Blow Zeros, where our bullpen gave up the lead late, and we proceeded to lose once again. Now on a a streak of three straight losses were five and four in the year and tied for the division lead with the bards and the toucans i believe or bards and bird lizards oh interesting <laughs> anyway so today's matchup we're taking on the division leading trackers in a battle of division leaders here in the conference on the mound for them is going to be left-hander jameson lester one and over the 372 era and a 114 whip he has the good trades rally stopper and metalhead and on the mound for us is going to be young left-hander sawyer radical who used to be a member of the trackers back in year one of the franchise he is locked in here, 1-1 one one with a 318 ERA and a 168 whip. Uh, Radical did face them last year in the regular season finale, which he ended up winning, I believe. So, or Was that the Swampers game? I forget which one it was. Anyway, uh, so leading off for us today, locked in at third base, Bob Shelton. Batting second, locked in at right field is Bingo Coffee. Batting third is shortstop Maya Rogers. Batting fourth is left fielder Ramon Whitehead. Batting fifth, center fielder Chris Flores. Batting sixth is catcher Joe Lee McIntosh. Batting seventh is second baseman Aresti Blacksmith. And batting eighth is first baseman Kane Tambor. Batting ninth will be the pitcher Radical. Lineup for the Trackers leading off in left field is Connor Gilbert. Batting second locked in in right field is Sincere Rosario. Batting third is on fire center fielder Easton Osborne. Batting fourth, first baseman Trip Harper. Batting fifth, second baseman Hang Anderson. Batting sixth, shortstop Bingo Rude. Batting seventh is catcher Imogen Bartlett. Batting eighth is rattled third baseman Blaze Todd. And batting ninth is the pitcher Lester. Let's jump into it and have some fun here as we head back home to Bingada Bowl today. Trackers come into this matchup at six and three. We come in at five and four. <laughs> Let's see which team comes out on top. <clears throat> the fans are ready to go at Bingata Bowl. Mind your step on the sticky, squatchy floors. It's time. Yeah, <laughs> let's do it. Game. Connor Gilbert leading off, left fielder hitting 250 with a homer. Two RBIs here on the year for the Trackers. So we're going to have a uh, young starter, Sawyer Radical, on the mound. One and one with 318 ERA and a 168 whip. Four earned runs given up in his two starts, totaling 11 in the third innings, averaging almost six innings a start. 15 hits surrendered, four walks, 12 strikeouts, and a batting average against the 319. Radical is locked in coming into this appearance. So that means he threw six and a third innings in his last start, which would have been a quality start. Gave up only the one run. As that heater's up and away, <clears throat> taken high for ball one. He gave up three and five innings in his first start of the year, which we uh, got. We did lose, but he got a no decision. Or he did take the loss on that one. That one's chopped foul, one and one. Ball down the way. That's a strike to the knees, one and two. Little hack activates here for Gilbert as he's behind in the count now. Change bump it in. Bloop behind second, Blacksmith out for it, makes the catch, one down. Next up, right fielder Sincere Rosario, he's locked in, hitting 345, two homers, 12 RBIs on the season. Radical does have that elite fork ball, and here it comes on the first pitch of the at-bat, whiffed on it as he chased it just below the knees, I believe. No, it was right at the knees, he's just off target. Where's he ripping in? Line back up the middle, and that is a base hit. Rosario on with one down, and that'll bring up all-star center fielder Easton Osborne, who is on fire. A bad ball hitter active, hitting 350 with five RBIs. He's really feeling it here to start the year. And good speed over at first. Pick off to first, nothing doing. Back safely. Heater up and away on the pitch out, nothing doing. Ball one. Curve ball the knees, Osborne rips it foul, out of play, one and one. Slider away, taken outside, 2 1. Work ball down and in. Chop foul out of play as he's early, 1 2. Or 2 2 the count. Change it down in the way, outside, full count now here. Of course, he's ripping in. Popped him up. Rogers in a step, calling for it. And the rookie shortstop puts it away, 2 down. Next up, first baseman Trip Harper hitting 229 with a homer and eight RBIs. 
First pitch heater up and away. Runner goes. Throw down by McIntosh. No in time. Got Rosario by a step. Good job, Joe Lee. Bottom one. We're scoreless. Shelton, Coffey, and Rogers coming up for the Thumpers. I did really thought he had that stolen, but I guess the heater was just quick enough to get him. Nice pitch and nice throw down. Shelton leading off. Bobby's locked in, hitting 429 with a RB homer and four RBIs on the year with first pitch slayer. Facing a lefty, though, so he doesn't have his contact trade active. The Southpaw Jamison Lester's on the hill for the Trackers. In two starts, he's 1 0. He has a 372 ERA and a 114 whip. Four runs given up in nine and two thirds innings, averaging just under five innings a start. Eight hits surrendered, 12 strikeouts, three walks, a home run, and a batting average against a 216. Decent start for Lester's, keeping his ERA down. Uh, just need to get a little bit more length out of him, and he'd be having a solid year here to start the season. Bob looking to kill the first pitch he sees, and unfortunately for him, it's outside on the changeup, ball one. Curveball inside is ripped down the right field line on the next pitch, and that is down for a base hit as Bob Shelton does what he does best. He leads off and gets on. Third baseman on for right fielder Bingo Coffey, who's locked in, hitting 429 with a homer, three RBIs. Bingo trying to keep the momentum going. Changeup taken low on the first one from Lester, ball one. Runner goes on the next pitch, changeup in there for a strike, throw down by the catcher, no chance, stolen base for Shelton. Bob caught him sleeping, and that's Bob's first steal of the season. He's one for one, speaking of steals. Moving over to Rosario, he was thrown out for the first time this year. He's 0 for 1 on the steal attempts. 1-1 one, one count to Coffee as that caught the inside corner. Dribble down and in is popped up, shallow right center. Hanging up though for the right fielder. Rosario puts it away, one down. Next up, shortstop rookie Maya Rogers hitting only a buck 94. Two homers, six RBIs. Hit a grand slam last game against the below zeros. Looking to use that momentum to get her average back above the Mendoza line as that change of misses inside. Ball one. That change of misses high from Lester, 2-0, really favoring that pitch here early. Heater middle in, blew it by her as we were late on it, 2-1. Curveball hangs, ripped a third off the glove of the third baseman, Todd, and gets by the shortstop. That is a hard hopper. We're going to give him, is that going to make him an E5? We'll have to check and see if they gave him an error on that. Unfortunately, Todd has already rattled, so he's, Mojo's not going to go down. Ramon Whitehead up next. Left fielder is in the cleanup slot with Volatile active here, hitting 290 with a homer and an RBI. They did give him an error, so Rogers reaches on the error. First and third, one down. Lester up and away, hits the heater on the corner. 0-1 is rally stopper active for him here. Heater up is blown by Whitehead, 0-2. Heater's knees ripped and the whole base hit the left field and Whitehead's gonna drive home Shelton. He'll score 1-0 thumpers. Way to capitalize on that and here comes center fielder Chris Flores. Hitting 343 with four RBIs on the year, batting in the fifth slot today. The young center fielder looking to keep it going. Lester, that neutral mojo still has rally stopper active here. First pitch curveball just hits the high outside corner. A nice pitch, 0-1. Cutter up and in, blasted by Flores to left center field, slicing away from Osborne, but he is there to run it down for the second out as both runners hold. And that'll bring up rookie catcher Jolie McIntosh, hitting 261 with a homer and seven RBIs on the air. Powerless left-hander active here for the rookie. Trying to cash in. Rally stopper remains active for Lester, two runners on. Cutter up and in, nips the corner. Nice pitch, 0-1. Curveball down and then pop, they're up in foul territory. Therefore, at the third baseman, Todd, this time he does make the catch and that ends the inning. But one home on the single by Whitehead, one nothing to the second. Harper, Anderson, and Rude do up. First baseman, Trip Harper's bat bat resets here as the runner was thrown out during it. Hitting 229 with a homer, eight RBIs on the season. Facing is still locked in Sawyer Radical. Ball down in the way on the first pitch, ripped foul out of play. 0-1, a little early. Forcing up and away, hits the high corner. That's not where I wanted that, but thankfully it hit the edge of the zone. 0-2. Change it down and in. Chop through the middle under the glove of Radical, and that is going to be a seeing eye knock into center. Lead off hit for Harper. He's on to start the second. Second baseman Hang Anderson up next, hitting 308. One homer, 10 RBIs on the year for the former champ second baseman. Now the second baseman for the trackers as she jumped conferences after year one. Her ball down and then ripped in a hold a short past the diving Rogers. That's a base hit. 
First and second now, nobody out. Tracker's looking to answer here in the second. Shortstop Bingo Rude coming up next, hitting only a buck 90, two homers, three RBIs, trying to turn his slow start around. Forcing Ruffin in the first one, strike call, 0-1. Work ball down the way. Line to second right at Blacksmith for the first out. Seven hitter Imogen Bartlett up next. Catcher has off speed hitter active, hitting 364. Four RBIs here on the season. Slider down, taken low. Good eye. Ball one. Change up and away. That's a strike as it hits the corner. 1 1. Forcing me down in the way. Off the plate. 2 1. Forcing me up and in. That's popped into left of center. Flores races in. Makes the catch for the second out as Bartlett's retired. 2 on, 2 down now as the trackers are stalling. Here's third baseman Rattled Blaze Todd who needs something to turn his luck around. Hitting a measly 087, and he's already made an error today as well. He was already rattled coming into today's game, so he is not having a good start to the year. Fork ball down in the way. That's a strike at the knees. 0-1. His first uh, third of the season has not been great. Peter up and in. Checked high inside. 1-1. One, one. Slide it down and in. Chop jammed him to first on the ground. Tambor over on the bare hand. Races to the back. Gets the out and that ends the inning. Two leadoff singles are stranded here by Radical in the second. Bottom two. Bottom of the lineup up for the thumpers. It's Blacksmith Tambor and then the pitcher Radical. Second baseman, Aresti Blacksmith leading off, hitting 226. Two RBIs on the air, trying to get her slow start turned around as well. Curveball up line through in the middle, and that is a base hit. Nice leadoff single there for Blacksmith, who I believe her old team was the Trackers as well. So a little bit of a reunion going on here. First baseman, Kane Tambor up next, hitting 312. Two homers, five RBIs. Off-speed hitter active here. Curveball inside, nips the corner, 0-1. Her balls away, one and one. Change of pull to foul by Tambor, one and two. Cutter up, missed it, strike three. First punch out for Lester, one down. Tambor now tense, now to bring up the pitcher radical in the bunting situation. He's locked in, hitting 333 with a homer and an RBI. Runner goes, he pulls the bunt back, it's outside. Throw down to second, is air mailed into center field. Blacksmith steals second easily, and then gets up and advances the third on the errant throw. Second error of the game already for the trackers. Runner at third. That is Blacksmith's first steal of the season. As well. Yes, she's first steal, actually. She's one for two. One out count to Radical is going to try and bring her home. The infield's playing back. We might be able to drop this bunt down. He dropping in, whiffed on it. High, 1-1. Cut up and wait, chopper to short, and that'll get the job done. Rude on to first, takes the out. It's an RBI ground out for Radical. Helping his own cause. 2-0 now the score. Shelton up next is on fire after singling and stealing a base. He's one for one. For about the knees on the first one, line to second right at Anderson to end the inning. But a run home on the ground out by Radical. 2-0 to the third as we capitalize on another error. Lester, Gilbert, and Rosario do up. Now back. Pitcher Jamison Lester leading off, and then we'll go back to the top of the trackers lineup here. Uh, Lester's hitting 250 to start the season. Forzheimer up, misses high from Radical as he lost it, ball one. Her ball hangs on the next one, fouled off, one and one. Got luck, got away with that one. Any other batter in this lineup probably kills that. Change up away is fouled back, one and two. Slider hangs, fouled off again, one and two. Forcing him up and away. Strike three call. Can I help you, Jameson? No, you just looking. Get out of here. First punch out for Radical. Now to bring up Gilbert. Left fielder 0 for 1 today. For ball at the knees on the first one. Just low. Ball one. Fork ball down and away. Chopped at the middle. That is a base hit. And Connor Gilbert's on with his first hit of the day. He's 1 for 2. Now to bring up Rosario. 1 for 1 with a single. And then he's thrown out trying to steal. But still locked in. No worry to worry about the runner at first here, so we can focus on the batter. He's not going to run. Change up away. Fouled off, 0-1. Of course, he's in. Checked inside, 1-1. One one. 
Fork ball down and in. Taking low. 2-1. Her ball up and away. Lined over short. Rogers leaps out of her reach. It's down for a hit. Whitehead dives. Gets under his glove a little bit. So that's going to be a double. Two in scoring position here. One down. Crackers threatening. Here is Osborne who's on fire. 0 for 1 today though with a pop out. Forcing her down in the way. Just off the plate. Ball one. Change of middle in. Osborne blasts it left of center. Hit pretty well. Flores tracking back. Running out of room at the wall. Leaps it out of his reach. It's a home run. Tracking that ball out of the ballpark as Osborne gets his first homer of the year. The All-Star delivers. It is 3-2 as the trackers in one swing have come all the way back. Harper up next. One for one with the singles. Radicals no longer locked in. First pitch fork ball down in the way. Foul off outside. 0-1. Peter up and in. Line to second. Blacksmith leaps. Nice catch, Arresti. Two down. Base is empty for Anderson, who singled her first time up and was stranded on the base paths. Curveball down in the dirt. Ball one. Forcing her up and away. Anderson grounds it to second. Blacksmith backhands to her right. On to first, and that ends the inning. But the trackers get the lead on the home run there by their captain, Easton Osborne. 3-2 to the bottom of the third. Coffee, Rogers, and Whitehead do up. Bingo Coffee leading off. Flew out his first time up. He's 0 for 1 today. Peter up and away, taking high. Ball one. Curveball misses outside from Lester. 2-0. Curveball down in the ways outside. 3-0. We're not moving. Peter down and in. Hits the knees. 3-1. Curveball outside. Ball four. And that is a five-pitch walk for Coffee as he'll start the inning. First walk today for Lester. And that'll bring up Meyer Rogers, who's 0 for 1 today with a, I believe it was a pop out. Change up, up, taken high. Ball one. Peter away, lined in the hole to second. Pass knocked down by the diving Anderson, actually, thanks to Butterfingers. And then she darts the throw to first. E4. And that is the... Th oh, no, it's not an error. They gave her a hit on that one, or a fielder's choice, maybe. They gave her a hit. Okay. Um, that's the first hit today for Rogers. Two on... None down for Whitehead, who singled home a run his first time up. Looking to do it again. Rally stopper activates for Lester. Dribble hangs on the first one, sky to right center. Over forward Osborne to make the catch for the first out. Digging for third is Coffee. He will tag up and advance as the throw came to second. Two and runners at the corners, one down for Flores, who flew out the center to end the inning. First go around. Or was it a shallow fly? It was a shallow fly, wasn't it? Because I think. Yeah, McIntosh batted. Okay. Peter up, taken high. Ball one. Peter at the knees, blasted to right center field by Flores. That's going to get the job done as Osborne tracks back to the warning track. Makes the catch for the second out as runner digs for second. Throw in is late. It is a sack fly. 3-3. Thumpers tie it up. First RBI for Flores today, and that'll bring up McIntosh. 0 for 1. Powers left the active. She popped out in foul territory her first time up. Change it down and then rip foul out in front of it. 0-1. Cut up and in. Rip down the left field line. That is in for a base hit. Rogers coming to third is rounding. She's going to be sent. Gilbert's throw is cut. It's an RBI single for McIntosh, and the Thumpers take the lead again. 4-3 the score. Blacksmith up next, one for one with a single. Her ball from Lester misses outside as he's now tense. Ball one. Cut her away, fouled back off the end of the bat. 1-1. One, one. Dribble hangs at the letters, ripped to the gap left center. That is down for a base hit. Gets under the glove of Gilbert. It's going to go all the way to the wall as he didn't get there. McIntosh going to stop at second with an RBI double. Runner scores. It's 5-3. to three. Dambor up next. Struck out swinging his first time up. He's 0 for 1. Job Blacksmith. Peter away is outside. Ball 1. McIntosh was the one that scored there, not uh, Blacksmith. Blacksmith was the one who hit the ball. My bad. Got them confused. Change it down and then grounder to first. Right at Harper. He'll take the out at first to end the inning. To the fourth. It's 5-3 as we respond with three runs of our own to retake our two-run advantage. Top four. Rude, Bartlett, and Todd do up. Bingo Rude leading off. He's over for one today. Peter up and away. 
outside. Ball one. Work ball at the knees. That's a strike. One and one. Nice pitch. Curveball hangs. Chopped to short. Rogers to her left. Cuts it off. In time to first. One down. Bartlett up next. 0 for 1 today. Off speed hitter. Still active for the catcher. Peter up and in. High. Ball one. Fork ball down and in. That's a strike. One and one. Change down in the way. That's a strike. One and two. Nice pitch. Forcing ripping away. Pop through up behind first. Blacksmith over. Second baseman puts it away. Two down. Base is empty for Blaze Todd. He's 0 for 1 today. Checking something real quick here. Yeah, okay. I thought so. Curveball down in the way in the first pitch. That's chopped foul. Out in front of it was Todd. 0 1. Flatter from away. Check strike called. 0 2 at the letters. Or something down and in. Strike three called on the inside corner. Can I help you, Todd? No, you're just looking. Get out of here. Second punch out today for Radical. That's a one, two, three inning. His first one today, I believe. Bottom four, Radical, Shelton, and Coffee. Do up. <laughs> Radical leading off. Pitcher's 0 for 1 with an RBI ground out as he uh, took a ground out at shortstop and brought a run in. How about down in the ways? Called strike. 0 1. Heater down and then is popped up behind the plate. Easy play for Bartlett. One down. He didn't even have to move. Bob Shelton up next. One for two with a single. Lined out the second last time up. Third ball misses outside on the first one. Ball one. Change of up and away. Hits the corner. One, one. Third ball up. Misses high. Two, one. Change ups away. Three, one count to Shelton. Good hitters count. Heater down the middle and he missed it. Full count. Heater up and in, chopped through the middle, and Shelton's going to have his second hit of the day. He's two for three. Bob continuing to hit hot. He's on with one down, and here's Coffee over one with the walk today. There it goes on the first pitch. Heater away, grounded up the line. That's a diving play by Todd. Throw across the first is late, though. Infield single for Coffee on the hit and run. Everybody's safe. Two on, one down for Rogers. One for two with a single. I had to swing there because that was a delayed steal reaction on my part. So I'm like, crap, he's going to get thrown out. I got to swing. <laughs> two on, one down. Lester has rally stopper active again. Let's see if he can stop the rally this time. Or will Rogers bust it open? Change up and in is inside off the plate. Ball one. Change down and in. Misses low. 2 0 count. Rogers is ready to swing. For about the knees, ripped hard to third, right at Todd to second one. Anderson to first, double play, and that ends the inning as Rogers continues to struggle. To the fifth, it's still five to three. Lester, Gilbert, and Rosario do up. Lester leading off, pitcher struck out looking his first time up. He's over one. He actually struck out looking on that exact pitch as that heater hits the top of the zone. 0 oh, one. Fork ball down and in, chased it low. 0 oh, two. Dribble down in the way. Whiffed on it. Strike three. Third punch out for Radical. One down. There's Gilbert. One for two with a single last time up. And he scored a run as well. Chase the changeup blowing away on the first one. Ball one. Flatter pin in. That's hitting the hole to second. Blacksmith over. Under her glove as she just couldn't quite get to it. Another single for Gilbert. He's two for three. But he is hurt running to first. Let's check the injury. What happened to him? Rosario up. He's locked in and right. Two for two with two singles and a run scored today. He's also been thrown out trying to steal once. Uh, whatever it was, Gilbert's coming out. It's a medium injury. He drops two bars. Coming out of the off the bench is backup outfielder Abdil O'Brien as he'll take over. Tweaked his groin. Well, that's good. At least it wasn't a hamstring pull or a dislocated ankle. So I guess that's a plus. First pitch curveball down in the way here to Rosario. Hits the knees. What a pitch. 0-1. Oh, Four-seamer off the plate inside. 1-1. One one. Change of away. Popped him up behind third. Shelton on the run, but that's in no man's land. He ain't going to get there. 1-2 now the count here. His tough out activates for Rosario. Fork ball down below the knees. In the dirt. Good block by McIntosh. 2-2. Two, two. Flatter in. 
Jammed in behind first. Blacksmith running out. Gets there for the second out. And that is going to bring up the man of the hour, Easton Osborne, who's already homered once today. He had a three-run shot, which was his first of the year. He's still on fire, trying to bring it home. Ball down and in on the first one. Checked low. Good eye. Ball one. Peter up and in. Chased it out of the zone. 1-1. One, one. Change it out of the way. Outside. 2-1. <laughs> Slider down in the way. That's blasted to center. Hit pretty well. Flores on the run. Gets over his head as that one hops to the fence. Flores does get it in quickly, though, as it's to the cutoff man. Runner holds at third. It's a double for Osborne. Two in scoring position for Harper. One for two with a single. RBI hero active for the first time today for Tripp. Ball down in the way in the first pitch. Whiffed on it out in front of it was Harper. 0-1. Change up and in. Harper takes it. Strike called. 0-2. Heater up and away. Fouled off. He just got to it. Out of play. 0-2. Fourth ball down and in. Harper lines it out in front of it. Foul. That would have been extra bases. 0 2. Slide it down in the way. Check swing. Strike three call. Can I help you, Harper? Nope. You just look and get the hell out of here. Fourth punch out for Radical. He strands two. Bottom five. It's 5 3. Whitehead, Flores, and McIntosh do up. Halfway home today, folks. This is a good one. Whitehead leading off, one for two with an RBI single earlier. He popped out last time up as O'Brien remains in the game in left field after pinch running for the injured. Oh, my God, I can't remember his name. <laughs> uh, for the injured, I believe it was uh, not Bartlett. Oh, my God, it's uh, Gilbert, yes. That cutter misses high from Lester on the first one. Ball one as he's back to neutral mojo. Change of hang, grounded the second. Off the diving glove of Anderson, it's a base hit. Lead off single there for Whitehead as he's on to start the fifth. And that'll bring up Flores over one with the sack fly driving in a run last time up. He's also flown out today. Her ball and away. Strike call to one. Cutter inside. Pop. Doom up to shallow left. O'Brien in. This is his first action since coming in. Makes the catch. One down. McIntosh up next. Rookie catcher singled home a run last time up. She's one for two. Powers left the active. She also scored a run later on a double. Her ball up and in. Turned on by McIntosh. Crushed deep to left field. Running back O'Brien. He's there. Puts it away. Two down. Inning will continue. Still at first is Whitehead after leading off with the single. Here's Blacksmith. Two for two with a RBI double last time up and a single. She's now locked in and made a couple defensive plays here in the field. Cut her up. Turned on by Blacksmith. Hit deep to left field. Beat the drum. It's a home run as that one gets out in a hurry. Blacksmith's first homer of the season as the second baseman delivers against her old club. It is 7-3 as we now have our biggest lead of the day. Four runs. Kane Tambor up 0 for 2 today. He has struck out once and grounded out. He's tense and so is the pitcher Lester after that home run ball. Change it down in the way. Misses low to Tambor. Ball one. Change up up and away, strike call, one and one. Change up down and away, low, two, one. Heat up and in, late swing from Tambor, two, two. Her ball away, misses, full count now. Checked away, low on the change up, ball four. Second walk today for Lester as Tambor reaches. Inning continues for Radical, who's over two with an RBI ground out and a, I believe, a pop out. And that'll do it for Lester. He goes four and two-thirds innings today, giving up six or seven earned runs so far. Uh, struck out one batter, uh, walked two, gave up one homer. He is in line for the loss. Run at first, his responsibility coming out of the bullpen is reliever Jeffrey Compton, who's on fire. Lefty will replace him. Compton, 4-0 in the year with a 0 ERA and a 0-49 whip. He's been the most dominant reliever in their bullpen. Seven appearances, 12 and a third innings pitched, five hits surrendered, a walk, nine strikeouts, batting edge against his 119. Talk about elite numbers. Looking to strand that for the inherited runner. Peter down, strike called at the knees, 0-1. Herbal at the knees, chopper to second, right at Anderson, who makes the play to first to end the inning. 
So the inherited runner is stranded, but we get two more runs on a home run. First of the year by Blacksmith as she delivers against her old club. 7-3 to the sixth. Anderson, Rood, and Bartlett do up. Radk will come back out to start the sixth, going for the quality start. Here's Hang Anderson, one for two with a single today. He ripping in, inside off the plate, ball one. Curveball hangs, Hang delivers, diving off the glove of Tambor into shallow right. Blacksmith backs him up, but it's still an infield single. Lead off woman on for Bingo Rude. He's 0 for 2 today, but still neutral. Cork ball down and in on the first one, taking low. Ball one. Peter down in the way. Blew it by Rude as he's late, 1 and 1. Change up and in, taking high, 2 1. Curve ball down. Chased it, fouled back, 2 2. Ladder from away. Chopper fouled to third. Out of play. 2-2. Two, two. Puts him down and then. Blew it by him. Strike three. Fifth punch out for Radical. One down. Got him to chase that low heat. And here's Bartlett. 0 for 2. Off speed hitter active here. Fork ball down in the way in the first one. In the dirt. Ball one. Four senior down. Foul back. One and one. Bartlett late. Radical up over 80 pitches here. Slider inside. Jammed it on the ground to short. Roger charges, flips the second one. Blacksmith the first. Double play. Love to see it as that ends the inning and Radical gets the quality start. Nice pitching Sawyer. He's done. Bottom six. That's 7 3. Shelton, Coffee, and Rogers coming up. Shelton leading off. Two for three today. He's on fire. Two singles. Also got a stolen base as well. Heater down in the way, lined up the middle, and Shelton comes through on the first pitch like he does so often, his third hit of the day. Leadoff man on again. Here's Bingo Coffee, one for two with a single and a walk today. He's locked in. Change up and in, taken high on the first one, ball one. Runner goes, change up in there for a strike, throw down by the catcher in the dirt, laid. Shelton steals his second bag of the day. He's two for two on steals this year. One, one count to Coffee. Change it down. Ooh, bingo out in front of it. One, two. Trouble down in the way. Blind softly to short. Caught by Rude for the first out. Rogers up next. Rookie one for three with a single. Grounded into a double play last time up. Change of away. Hits the corner. Nice pitch from Compton. 0 1. Heater away or change up outside again. 1 1. Change of middle in. Dumped into center field. That is in for a base hit. Shelton comes to third. He will be held. He doesn't run particularly well. Runners at the corners. One down. Whitehead up next. Two for three. Two singles and a run driven in already. Looking to add more. Change of up. Taken high. Ball one. Compton looking to avoid giving up his first run of the year. Change up inside. Hard chopper to third. Picked by Todd. On to second one. Anderson to first double play. And that ends the inning. To the seventh. It's 7-3. Seven, Todd, Compton, O'Brien do up. Radical done after six quality innings today. He gives up nine hits, no walks, one home run ball, three earned runs, and five strikeouts. Solid pitching, Sawyer. Todd up. He's rattled over two. Pinch hitting. We're going to sub off here. Hmm. You know what? I think it's time. Yeah, I think it's time. We're going to go ahead and sub in here out of the bullpen. Give me one second. We are double switching. We're going to go ahead and bring in out of the bullpen with this big lead. Not him. Not him either. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and hand it over here to Sky Sosa out of the bullpen as we're going to take Whitehead out. And we are going to put in rookie Arnold Liu as he's going to be in right field. And we're going to move Bingo Coffee over to left because he's locked in. Sosa on the year, no record, a 0 ERA and a no 96 whip. One run given up, it was unearned in four appearances, nine in the third innings pitched. Seven hits given up, two walks, six strikeouts, the batting average against a 200. Let's go, Sky. 8, 9, and 1 do up here for the tracker, so that's Todd, and then a pinch hitter for Compton. Heater up and in, strike call, 0-1. Trouble down in the way, whiffed on it in the dirt, 0-2, nice pitch. Slider up and away. Out of the zone, 1 2. Forcing it down and in. Inside, 2 2. Curveball down in the way. In the dirt, 3 2. That was Sosa's best pitch there. Slider up and in. Off the plate, ball four, and she starts the day with a walk. What a, what a way to take there by Todd. Compton up next to the pitcher. He's on fire. He's hitting three for four. 
pinch hitting for him, though, is going to be right outfielder Term Butterman. They have six, seven outfielders on their roster. Jesus. Hitting 222 with a homer, two RBIs. Like, they had their three starters. They've already brought in O'Brien and Butterman. That's two. And they also have Guzman. They have six outfielders on their roster. That's a lot of outfielders, dude. <laughs> Butterman hitting 222 off the bench with a homer, two RBI, so he's batting looks like two for nine on the season. Peter down on the ground at the second right at Blacksmith, the second one. Rogers the first. Double play. Love to see it. Is that as two down now? Base is empty for O'Brien with rally starter. Hitting 333 off the bench, getting his first at bat of the game. He came on for the injured Gilbert, who tweaked his groin, running to first. Third ball down on the first pitch, ball one. Peter down and in. Strike called. One and one. Nice pitch. Slider up and away. High. 2 1. Peter up and in. Inside. 3 2. Or 3 1. Ball down and away. Grounded to second. Blacksmith to her left. Cuts it off. On to first. That ends the inning. Nice pitching sky. Getting around that leadoff walk. Coming out of the bullpen. Long reliever. Dolly McGribbins. Solid name. I like that. Bottom seven, it's 7-3. Flores, McIntosh, and Blacksmith coming up. Here's Flores, 0 for 2 with an RBI sack fly today. He's also flown out and lined out. Facing lefty right-hander, Dolly McGear of Gribbins. No record, a 309 ERA and a 154 whip on the air. Four in runs given up, six appearances, one save, 11 and two-thirds innings. 16 hits surrendered, two walks, one homer, 15 strikeouts, batting average against 314. Saw numbers for McGribbins. It looks like her and Compton are taking the lion's share of the work here for the bullpen, innings-wise. Heater away, strike call to one. Nice pitch. Heater middle in, chopped a short right at Rude. He'll make the play. One down. Next up, Jolie McIntosh. Catcher still tense. One for three with an RBI single today. Uh, I would pinch hit for, with Cruz here, but he's resting, so I think we'll need to wait. Maybe sub him on late as like a last inning substitute, maybe. Check low on the slider. Ball one. Change bump and in. Check strike. One one. Change bump away. Chase. That's, that's on me. Pop up the short. Right there is rude. Two down. Base is empty for Blacksmith, who is a triple shy of the cycle today. She's hit a two-run homer, an RBI double, and a single. Homered last at bat. Locked in. Peter up and in, jammed at the middle, base hit as it's past the diving Anderson. Not going to get the cycle here, but she's four for four, and we'll take it. One on, two down for Tambor, who's open to the walk. Ace Exterminator active and off-speed hitter. He's tense. If, off, if Ace Exterminator wasn't active here, I would pinch hit for him. Since it's active, we'll let him bat. Slide up and away, he's cracked deep to left center field, but that is not going to do any damage. Osborne over, puts it away to end the inning. To the eighth, it's seven to three. Rosario, Osborne, and Harper do up. We're also going to bring in Kirk. Tambor's just not having it today. Tambor's coming out, and we'll put Kirk in at first. Rosario up. He's got two hits today. Peter down and in, taking low. Ball one. Her ball away. That's blasted the left center field. We have liftoff, folks, and that is long gone. Second home run of the game for the Trackers offense as it's Rosario's third, and that brings them back within three. It's seven to four. First run given up this year by Sosa. That's earned. Osborne up next two for three. He doubled last time up and has hit a three-run homer. He's still on fire. Her ball inside on the first pitch. Chopped the second. Blacksmith dives to her right out of her reach. It's a base hit. That is a single here, and that'll bring up Harper. 1-3 with one hit today with this was a single. Slider down in the way in the first pitch. Strike called, 0-1, nice pitch. Boys him down and in. Jam foul, 0-2. Purple down in the way. Low and outside, 1-2. Boys him middle in, inside, 2-2. Slide up and away, runner goes, swung through it, strike three, throw down by McIntosh, not in time. No strike him out, throw him out, double play here as Osborne gets his first steal of the day. First strikeout though for Sosa, one down, Anderson up next, two for three with two singles. Osborne's first successful steal of the year, he's one for one. Peter down and away, low, ball one. 
Soccer ball down and into Anderson. It is chop foul out of play, one and one. Slider from the way, runner goes for third. Strike called, throw down by McIntosh is late. Another steal for Osborne. He's two for two. Or two for two for two today, two for three total. He's at third, one, two count to Anderson. Eater up and in. Inside off the plate, two, two. Throw ball down in the way. Whiffed on it, strike three. Second punch out for Sosa, two down. Next up, Rude. He's 0 for 3. No pinch hitter coming. This is his at bat. Slider away. Chased it. He fooled him badly. Looking heater. 0 1. The ball down in the way. Sky ball off the end of the bat to left center. Coffee over. He's there. And Bingo puts it away as we strand a runner at third. But the home run for Rosario makes it a three run game. 7 4 to the bottom of the eighth. Lou, Shelton, and Coffee do up. Rookie outfielder Arnold Liu leading off here in the bottom of the eighth for the Thumpers. This is his first career at bat in the Green Nachos League. Welcome Arnold, the 19-year-old looking to earn his keep. Subbed on for Whitehead there a few innings ago, facing McRibbons. Heater inside is a strike. 0-1, nice pitch. Heater up, turned on by Liu, hit deep to right field, but he just got under it. There's Rosario, one down. Shelton up, three for four day, three singles. He's on fire. Con Decker's ready, first pitch slayer active here. Heater up and in, jammed on the hole to third, but right at Todd, he'll make the play, two down. Next up, Coffee, one for three with a single and a walk today. He's still locked in. Heater up, line to center, and that is down for a hit. Got a heater at the top of the zone, and he unloaded. Good job, Bingo. Inning stays alive here for Rogers. Two for four, two singles. Slider inside, off the plate, ball one. Heater up and in, hit well by Rogers to right center field, but she got under it. Osborne over, calling off the right fielder. He'll put it away to end the inning. To the ninth, it's seven to four. Bartlett, Todd, and McRibbins do up. Sosa done after two innings, giving up the one earned run. One walk, two hits, two strikeouts, not bad. Going for the save here out of the bullpen is going to be Declan Valenzuela's. He's going to take over. Declan on the air, one and one. He has a 476 ERA and a 124 whip. Four, appear earn, four runs given up, three earned in five appearances. One save, five and two-thirds innings pitch, six hits surrendered, one walk, two strikeouts, and a batting average against a 273. Heater up on the first pitch, strike call to Bartlett, who has one hit today. The ball down the waist, chop the short. Rogers will take it. On to first, and one down. Next up, Todd. He's over two of the walk today, and he's still rattled through that walk last time up. Choker activates here for Valenzuela. Throw ball down, taking low. Ball one. Heater down in the way. That's lined over second. Right at Blacksmith, though, for the second out. Last chance for the trackers is the pitcher slot. McGribbins pinch hitting for her is Dark Scottish, the other catcher, hitting 417 on the air. Solid name, by the way. I like that. First pitch heater up and in from Valenzuela. Strike call, 0-1. Change it down and in. Chopped in the hole to short. Rogers over on the dive. Nice play, Maya. Throw across the first. In time! And that ends the game. Nice pitching, Valenzuela. He gets his second save of the year. Thumpers win 7-4 as we improve to 6-4 on the year. And the trackers fall to 6-4. Good game all around, guys. Good game. Uh, RBIs today, home run for, solo home run for Rosario and a three-run bomb from Easton Osborne. They were the only run the tracker scored today. For us, we had an RBI single from Whitehead, an RBI sack fly from Flores, RBI ground out from Radical, McIntosh an RBI single, Blacksmith an RBI double, and then a two-run homer as well. Pitching lines, Lester takes the loss, four and two-thirds, ten hits, seven earned runs, two walks, a homer, and a strikeout. He falls to one and one. Radical, six quality innings, gets the win, nine hits, three earned runs, five strikeouts, and a homer. He improves to two and one. Sosa gets the two-inning hold, two hits given up, one earned run on a homer, a walk, and two strikeouts. And Valenzuela gets the save, pitching a clean ninth inning, his second of the year. Compton inning in a third, scoreless, and McRibbon's two innings scoreless as well as that one-two combination out of the bullpen continues to work wonders for the trackers. Player of the game is Blacksmith, who finished a triple shy of the cycle today, driving in three runs. Osborne with the three-run homer is the runner-up. He also finished a triple shy of the cycle. And Rosario went three for four. He had a home run and two singles. Uh, Osborne also had two stolen bases as well. Not bad. Not bad. Good win. Good win today, guys. Quality win.
All right, someone has to give up their parking space this season. Who's going to have to walk? Instigate's actually performed worse than Tambor, so him. Plus, Tambor's been here for longer, so... <laughs> Uh, looking around the league, I need no roster moves to report. Whitehead gets plus 8 speed as he continues to develop. That's nice. All right, not bad, not bad. Let's look at the schedule here and see who we want to play next. There's the Bottlenoses who aren't doing well. Uh, I believe the False Knights are up after that. Bottlenoses are 2-7. and seven. False Knights are 4-5. and five. That's a playoff rematch. We might want to play them next. Give uh, Beck Coleman her last shot here to try and make it work. That's her next start, is her final start as well. False Knights do win in 10 innings over the Dive Bombers. That's a good win. Good for us. Nocturnals knock out. Shut out the Champs. Nice win for them. They needed it. Beast win against the Night Bats, 11-7. Thumpers beat the Leather Wings easily, 6-2. Below Zeros get blown out by the Bird Lizards, 9-2, as the Bird Lizards keep pace with us. Swampers beat the Furry Flyers, 7-5, and now the Bard's taken on the Bionics. Bionics get seven in the first inning. Oh, my God, and they win 10-2. to Big win for them as that puts the Bards back in third. So we remain tied with the Bird Lizards atop the division here. This next matchup is the rookie Asiago against the Bottlenoses. I don't think we're going to play this one. The Bottlenoses aren't doing well this year. And I kind of want to check in with the False Knights and also give Coleman her last shot to make it happen. Uh... This is a dumb one for Blacksmith for player development. We don't want to lose her extra fielding ability. Although the extra fielding is nice. It's not necessary. She really needs arm and contact more so. Rogers, extra fielding never hurts for a shortstop. It's always welcome. It will still be here for one game, so no rush on buying it. Screw Kirk, same thing. This will be here for two games. No rush, no rush here. Cruz, we're not going to take away his one good tree, which is Mind Gamer, although the fielding is nice. Uh, his arm's already great. And the power is actually one of his best traits, so no. Shelton, extra contact is nice. This will be here for one more game as well, but that's really his bread and butter already. It's kind of dumb, so we'll ignore it. Loses right here, a chance to weaken his fielding position, so he'll get extra power and speed, though. That might be worth the risk, but I don't want to blow most of our money, so we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We're going to get these other ones next time. All right, so let's go ahead and set the lineup here for this one. We'll sim this at the start of next episode, though. So we will be simming this game against the Bottlenoses next time out, and we will be jumping into this matchup against the Track th uh, False Knights, which will determine whether or not Abed Coleman stays on the roster. If she has another bad outing, she's probably going to get released, and we're probably going to move Pruitt into the starting rotation, or we might give a shot to a lower-rated starter. We'll see what's available in free agency at the time. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode today, guys. Big win against the Trackers. We end up winning 7-3 to as we got a nice quality start from Sawyer Radical against his old club, the Trackers, as we'll see here. Radical was on the Trackers back in year one, so it was nice to get a victory against his old team. And I believe Arresty Blacksmith also showed out against her old club. She was there the first two years. She hit almost hit for the cycle. She had a big home run and then an RBI double as well, driving in three of our seven runs to lead us to victory. Uh, she missed the cycle by a triple, I believe. But still, the big win. We're now 6-4. and four. We've stopped our losing streak. Now we just got to keep it rolling here. Heading into next episode, we'll be simming this first game against the Bottlenoses, and then we'll be, we will be taking on the False Knights in a playoff rematch. So tune in to see how that works out for us. If you made it this deep, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already over on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below if you guys want to come over and watch the games live before they're posted. I'll catch you on the next episode, everybody. Until then, this is The Nasty One, signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.